Today, I'm gonna to show you how to turn a photo into a painting in Photoshop. Hey there, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. I am recording from Dallas, Texas. This week I'm visiting my brother and I thought, hey, what a fun opportunity to make a quick tutorial showing you guys how you can turn any photograph into a painting using just a couple of filters. So we're starting off with a landscape photograph. Now you can use any photo you want, but basically the idea here is we're taking all these little details in the photograph and we're gonna be turning it into what looks like paint strokes. So the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and duplicate your background layer. Just hit Control or Command J. Next, we're gonna right click on our layer and I'm gonna to go to convert to a smart object because we're gonna be using filters. And whenever you use filters in Photoshop, it's a great idea to use a smart object. It allows you to change those filters at any time. So now that we've changed it into a smart object, we're gonna to go to filter and we're gonna go down to our filter gallery. Now, this is an incredibly powerful tool that'll allow you to create different looks on your photos things like a plastic wrap if we want, or a cutout effect. A lot of very powerful effects. Now we're gonna go ahead and start this effect off with the Paint Dobbs uh, preset here. So we're gonna click on Paint Dobbs and we're gonna go ahead and apply another one on top of this. So let's go ahead and zoom in. There we go. Zooming in, you can see basically it just turns all the little details into what looks like Paint Dobbs. Now I can click on this eyeball to see the before and the after. Now you can also do things like increase your brush size depending on how much detail you'd like in your finished image. Now my suggestion is to use multiple of these filters in conjunction with one another. So let's go ahead and show you how to do it. We're gonna hit this plus icon right here to grab a new effect layer. And then this time we're gonna go ahead and grab our angled strokes. In my opinion, the angled strokes looks the most like a painting. And you can see because we've got the paint dobs to begin with, it kind of rounds out all of the little details in the image. And then the angled strokes makes it look just like an impressionist painting. So again, I can just turn both of these off and we can see basically just a photograph, turn them back on and we have our painting. You can see it just takes a second to load here. Isn't that a really cool effect? So let's hit okay. And you can see just turning this off and on, we've got our painting effect. Now in our background, I actually want a little bit less detail than in our foreground. So what we're gonna do is duplicate this layer. So I'm gonna hit Control or Command J, and then I'm gonna double click right here where it says Filter Gallery. And this is going to just bring me right back to my Filter Gallery here. You can see I've got my angled strokes, my paint dobs, and what we're gonna do is go ahead and add another. So I'm gonna click on angled strokes up here, and we're gonna hit the plus icon, and this is gonna add another angled stroke. Now this time we're gonna go ahead and increase the stroke length. The larger the stroke length here, this is going to mean we're going to have less detail. And we're gonna bring our direction balance off to the left there. There we go. We can see it just takes a second to load, but as I go on, you're gonna see we have less and less detail. Now on my paint dobs, we're gonna just bring our brush size up on that and bring our sharpness down a little bit. And this is going to have, allow us to have less detail. You'll notice in a lot of paintings that the backgrounds don't really have as much detail as the foregrounds, and that's what we're going for here. All right, we can see this is looking really cool, especially back in those mountains. So let's go ahead and hit OK here, and we can see just turning this off and on, it's really done a nice job on those mountains. Now, I don't want this to be visible everywhere, mostly just on the background. I want to lower those details down. So we're gonna go ahead and create a layer mask. I'm gonna hold Alt or Option and click on my layer mask. It's gonna make a black layer mask, making this whole layer invisible. Then we're gonna use our brush tool. We're just gonna go ahead and make our brush nice and large and then paint white on our layer mask right here in the background. And you can see we're basically just lowering the detail. So if I zoom right in, you can see I can turn this off and on and anywhere I paint in is just gonna lower that amount of detail. There we go, let's make our brush a little bit smaller. And we're gonna lower some of the detail here on the planes as well. There we go. So now it's your turn to open up your filter gallery and have a lot of fun. You can create a photo into a painting quickly in Photoshop. Thanks so much for watching. We have more great tutorials on manual painting techniques like turning a photo into a watercolor painting that's a little bit more involved on Flurn Pro. So if you're interested in that, you can join Flurn Pro and get to that tutorial as well as every tutorial we've ever made. Thanks again, I'll flurn you later. Bye everyone.